Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from mysocialu.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to talk about Facebook click to call ad just like this. Yes, you can create a Facebook ad and add a call now button. Before we jump into this, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's talk about this. So a lot of time we use learn more or shop now or register or send message buttons, but there's a way you can add call now call to action button on your Facebook ads. Now, how do you do this? Let's jump into the Facebook ads manager and let me show you the step-by-step -step process. So here I am logged into one of the Facebook ad account ads managers. So what we're gonna do is now to create any new campaign, we click on create. And now here's the important thing that you remember, uh, that you want to remember. So most of the time, and actually I've, I do the same thing, when we create campaigns, we're either looking for conversions or we're looking for engagement, traffic messages. So we select one of these objectives from here. But, and I almost never touch the objective on awareness. So we never, very rarely use brand awareness and reach. Uh, but guess what? To get that call to action button on your ad, you have to select the reach objective. So that's one thing. I used to use, or a lot of people still use these objectives from here or here, but when you do these, when you select these objectives, you do not see that call to action button. So that's very important. So, and obviously the other thing I want to mention is based on, Facebook optimizes your ads based on what you select. So once you select the reach objective, don't expect Facebook to bring you conversions and leads because that's not what that objective is. Facebook optimizes you, uh, our ads based on the objective that we select. But anyways, back to the campaign. So let me show you how to get that call now button on your ad. So we're gonna, from the uh, first step of campaign objective, we are gonna select reach. And then let's scroll down and I'm gonna just call it test campaign with call now button, right? Let's continue. And then obviously at the ad set level, this is where you select your targeting option. So make sure you select the options. But well, before that, make sure you select your Facebook page. So I have the page selected, good to go. Then you select your targeting option. So based on who is the ideal audience you wanna target with this ad. So make sure you select that if you wanna target local audience in your city. So select that at the ad set level. So let's scroll down and then select your budget, $5, $10, even like a dollar per day. It's totally up to you. And on this side right here, Facebook will show you the audience side, uh, the audience size and the estimated daily reach uh, based on the budget. So if I up the budget, watch what happens. This number is gonna go up. Look at that. If I decrease the budget, that number is gonna come down. Look at that, right? All right, so you select the objective at the campaign level, you select your audience, the target audience, at the ad set level. Now, let's hit continue. We're gonna skip that because the main thing I wanna show you in this video is how do you add that button on your ads because I know that's what you wanna see, right? So now, from here at the ad, ad level, make sure you select your Facebook page and if you have an a Instagram uh, account connected, select that, let's scroll down. We're gonna create a brand new ad. And uh, add, you can you know, use an image or a video, turn it into a video, it's totally up to you. I'm gonna just go with this default for now. Now, this is where the magic happens. The first thing you wanna do is add a website URL. So click on this right here, and then add the website URL for your business. Once you do that, this is the area or the section you wanna look at. So for example, right now, there's no call now button, right? You don't see that on this ad campaign. And by the way, I know the, the text, there's too much text on this ad, uh, but this I'm just doing a demo for you uh, in this video. Now, when you click on call to action, and now scroll down, and boom, look at this. Now we're able to see call now button. So when you click on that, and here is the phone number. So let me, I don't know what that error is, but let me refresh this view. So 
sometimes this happens, and I don't know why, maybe it's, it's something in my browser, uh, but let me uh, hit subscribe, and then go back to the call now. Let me try to change the phone number and see what happens. I've seen that before. It, it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with my ad. It's just my browser settings, something crazy happened. Oh, there you go. That's what I was looking for, right? All right, so now so all I had to do was just kind of enter an extra space or just kind of uh, mess with my phone number and now it's back. How crazy is that? Facebook can be crazy at times. All right, now, so look at this now. So here's our ad copy image and the magical call now button. When people click on that, they will be able to call your business. So if you are a business and you want people to call you from uh, your ads, this is how you can add the call now option on your Facebook ads. And again, a couple of things we want to remember, the objective we selected was a reach objective and then uh, from the call to action uh, buttons, you want to select the call now and then make sure you have the right phone number. Do remember that when you select the reach objective, Facebook does not optimize your ads for conversions or leads. Your ads are actually optimized for reach, but if you're reaching the right people, guess what? And based on your copy and how compelling your image is, your creative is, they have an option to call your business and make an uh, appointment or book an, or schedule a service with you. So this is how you add the click to call option or call now button on your Facebook ads. If you have any questions, you know what to do, leave those questions in the comments below. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye for now.